All right. I included this next hand, not only because we haven't had a three betting out of position example, but also because it really highlights the benefits of having a hand with smooth equity distribution in a three bet pot. The villain in this hand wasn't particularly over aggressive, but when I looked up his positional stats in my HUD, it said that he'd opened over 50% of his buttons through 125 hands. Now, I just want to mention here that I'm generally more likely to 3-bet good rundowns when I'm out of position instead of big pairs, because they give me a lot more barreling opportunities on later streets, as well as giving me the ability to represent a wider range of hands. Remember also that one of the benefits of 3-betting out of position instead of calling is that it allows you to get the pot heads up by knocking out the big blind, in addition to reducing the SPR out of position. After I 3-bet and get called preflop, you can really see the effect that all this has on the way the hand plays out. If I would have just called preflop, this would have been a very awkward spot facing two players out of position with plenty of money to play with in the stacks. Plus, since I 3-bit out of position, my opponent has to be concerned that I just flopped a set of aces, which means that many times I'll be able to take it down on ace-high boards really easily. Speaking of ace-high boards, you should really get in the habit of almost always c-betting ace-high boards whenever you 3-bet preflop out of position and find yourself in a heads-up pot postflop. Like I said in the slides, one of the biggest advantages of 3-betting rundowns is that you get to basically play two hands at once, meaning that the hand you actually hold has a lot of flopping potential, but it also has a lot of bluffing potential on ace-high boards. Just remember that you can adjust your c-bet sizing based on the board texture on ace-high boards. For example, if the board is drier, you can get away with c-betting smaller, since there's fewer hands that can have equity against a set or pair of aces. But if the board is wetter, you'll have to bet bigger to make sure your opponents don't peel you light. Now, Going back to what I said at the start of the hand, one of the main reasons I included this hand was to show you how smooth hands give you a big advantage in 3-bet pots, particularly in 3-bet pots out of position. The villain in this hand is in a tough spot on the flop with a draw, because if he ships, he could be in very bad shape against a set of aces, but if he peels like he did here, he's risking getting barreled off of his equity on the turn. Now, depending on what the turn is, I might or might not have continued to barrel, but picking up a flusher on the turn allows me to semi-bluff much more profitably than if I hadn't picked up the draw.